Lethal Company recently added a brand new creature, the Tulip Snake. And in this video, I'm going to be going in depth to see how it works and what it does. If you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment because it really helps my channel grow. I've had so much support since the last video and it's amazing to see this channel grow because of you guys. As I just wait out here. I'm waiting outside because the Tulip Snake is an enemy that spawns there. And I chose Adamants as my planet to find these guys because they by far have the highest spawn chance on Adamants. Here, they have a 17.52% chance to spawn, though it is worth mentioning that they can also spawn on March, Assurance, and Vow. When a Tulip Snake spawns, it will roam the map looking for a player. When it spots the player, it will chase them and cling on. The Tulip Snake will then flap its wings until it is either killed or it jumps off. This was my first interaction with the Tulip Snake. It appeared to be a greenish color and it instantly clung onto my head. Unfortunately, I swung my shovel before it could do anything. Since the Tulip Snake dies in one hit, I ruined any chance that this one had to show off what it could do. Thankfully, there was another Tulip Snake just around the corner, and I let it sit on my head without swinging my shovel this time. It would flap its wings and do... nothing? This was because there was only one on my head. You see, up to five Tulip Snakes can cling onto a player at once, each increasing the height and speed that the player will be flown. It is possible for one to drop you so far that you even die. Whoa. Whoa. When you have multiple Tulip Snakes on you, your game controls very similarly to a jetpack. And if you can navigate the game like that, then you can actually use the Tulip Snakes to your advantage. According to the wiki, Tulip Snakes have a power level of 0.5 and a maximum amount of 12. They can also be many different colors. Can I get a third? I can. All of you. You too, you too, on me. Yes, two. While I was experimenting with the tulip snakes, I decided to see what exactly they could do and how they could help. So I flew over to the water tower on Adamant. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, they don't seem to be very hostile. I mean, they jump on me, but they don't deal damage. While it is technically possible to die to a tulip snake, overall, they seem a lot more helpful than they do harmful. Especially on a planet like Adamant's, they will make getting back to the ship so much easier, even if they can be just a little bit risky. Oh, they can spawn right off the bat? Yup. Since tulip snakes are daytime creatures, they can be on the planet the second that you land. Make a mental note about where you do see them, as they can be useful in a couple in-game hours where there are other hazards. Right here, I'm trying to take the tulip snakes inside of the facility to see how they behave. I managed to get around the baboon hawks, who will target any tulip snake that they do see. The old bird will also do this just as okay. it would with any other creature. Let's take them in. Okay, I'll just wait for it to get off my head. Oh, I'm going up. We Oh, what happens? Oh. oh! If you're in the spawn room and you're being carried by tulip snakes, they're able to carry you up to the fan where the fan will dismember you. That's crazy, what? While I don't have any footage of the tulip snake roaming the facility, the wiki says that it will behave the exact same way both inside and outside. Roaming around until it spots a player and when it does, latching on and carrying them up. It is worth mentioning that they won't naturally spawn inside though. A player with tulip snakes on their head must bring it inside in order for it to be there. The tulip snake is an incredibly unique creature. I don't even think I would consider it an enemy. Version 50 seems to be the update that just keeps on giving. I absolutely love that little bird snake thing, and I think it makes the outside world of some of these planets feel a little bit more alive than they once were. Thank you all very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!